Teammate, Teammate I can't I can't Teammate speak properly. Send your votes in for this game. Tweet at LOL Esports. Use the hashtag T8 winner, the hashtag T O and let us know who you think's gonna win this one. Oh, it is a foul. Because he can get four man dough without any help right now. And here comes the attempt. Who's gonna pull aggro? Dodo's gonna do it and walks backwards, gets rooted up. He might have to flash away from this one. Nope, walks away cleanly. Quas still focused. Cali trolls his aggro. Cali trolls jumps up and dodges it all. Porpus flashes at all. He will get killed. But it's still worth it for Team A. A great first blood. A four man dive. All right, back to farming the go. Porpus, though, down 21 CS, has not revealed himself or himself really. Oh, hold on, there's the ulti up onto it. Look at, they really want this kill. They will land the stun. A lot of damage down. Oh, what a great Ooh, ulti by Janna. Wow. Dodo stuck under the turret, but the exhaust coming in. The TP's now to keep the fight afloat here, and Dodo forced to flash away. Nien rooted up. I believe he might have Valkyrie, but here comes Kali Trolls as well. Dodo, one hit from dead, forced to walk away. Nien still on the run. The flash ulti! Ooh. Oh, man, Quas picks up one. He might want the second. Can he get it? He cannot quite, but he jumps to Kali Trolls to get away. Corpus gets to defend, but still a great kill for Team Liquid. Totems whatsoever on this. It really is. They're relying on buying wards. Oh, hold on, though. Phoenix doing a lot of damage. The Golden Glue can't quite land the last little bit of burst, and Ghost once again keeps Golden Glue alive. Yeah, they're, they're relying on double. Oh, hold on. Oh. Special Shields himself barely survives, though. Can't quite get him stunned. Put on his dancing shoes. Piglet trying to turn it around a bit. This is they real dangerous. Oh, this could be the liquid. attempt. Oh, no! Piglet just goes down. He didn't respect the damage up, but whatsoever. The Janna shield, I actually believe, came out a little bit late. It looked like it shielded his corpse. Gets sent top lane on the split push. There's no, there's no dragon to fight for. Why even be there? So, top side he goes. Turret goes down. Team Liquid not answering. Oh, dear. And there missing. is a collapse happening. Oh, good luck. Nian does some decent damage to Dominate. Flash the way he's one hit from getting killed. Goes down. Piglet gets him. Does really take down Dominate, but... Burn both summoners, too. And Kali now realizes, I'm in a bad spot. I'm going to recall this brush. Nice oh, instincts dear. by Piglet. He's going to get caught out. Here comes the big chase. How far away can Kali Trolls get? That's well, a base gate. They're going to get him. But the question will be how... I don't think he's even going to be distracting enough. What? Q a minion? Oh, he has no mana. He can't Q a minion. And Assist for even... Kog'Maw. Yeah. Dominate is heal someone. Dominate, Dominate heal someone. Get the get the assist. That'll be nice. Team Liquid back on the aggression. Kali Troll's dead for 16 seconds. Here comes the engage already. Shanga kick is going to blue. Flashes out. But the battle continues. Turret will fall. And here comes the rest of that fight. 5v4 still. Nian has nowhere to go. Kill picked up. And the dive on in, a kill for Dominate as well. Zonia's popped, turret's there, it's special. Of course, a flash away from the turret, but that's okay, because Team Liquid in a great spot here. Oh, almost, he was nearly in range. Porpus could have, I believe, actually smited that one if he had seen it in time. Quas oh. jumped on, though, nowhere to go. Roots up, goes down. A big shockwave, Whoa. though, Phoenix cannot quite kill him. He needed a uh, Nash's Tooth for that one. And Phoenix now caught out pretty badly. Monsoon is still down. That means the chase is good, and a couple kills do get picked up. A great body slam also catches it special. That's a big fight. Baron's up in 35 seconds. They'll have enough time to take that one down before Team Liquid respawns. They made, they made it. You're right, it is the home guard. Move, Kali is. TP. This is the Baron move. It's just a Nidalee and a Maokai and soon to be a Kog'Maw. What? But they missed like every I can't possible believe engage he escaped tool. That. He also had Banshee's build to block things, but now it's Piglet free hitting with the attack speed. It's a 3v5. Really low health. Thonos nearly dead. Porpoise about to get chucked out also. Quas is way too tanky to go down and the reinforcements have arrived. Jan is here. Nien cannot outfight Quas, and that's three kills picked up in an outright 4v5. Ooh. Nice kill by Gordon knocks down Dominate, but this is way too much done. It's a four for one. Teammate opted into the fight. They couldn't get the picks they wanted. Team Liquid could close the game out. Yeah, Piglet and Quas are strong in this match. And yeah. that was evident right there. The hyper tank built coming out with Quas. He built his third Spectre's Cal on top of his <laughs> Banshee's Veil and his Spirit Visage. Doesn't even make anything. Untouchable. It makes him unkillable. Yes, in this it does. Game. That's going to be the game. 4, 2, and 5. Ironically, the most deaths in the game, but Super Tank Quas had an absolutely amazing game for himself. It took him a while, a 42-minute game, but Team Liquid now. Head over to Twitter and send hashtag DIG win or hashtag CLG win. Let us know if the Olaf will lose or win, respectively. We'll check. Helios cosplaying a chin here. We're going to get jumped on by four members. Maybe a bit too aggressive. Explodes. The Rebuff goes back to Xmithy. Zoom, zoom. As well comes by tags too. The chase still on. 
Actually, the ulti land or ends just before the stun goes in, but there's a rocket jump in. Kiwi Kid's got nowhere to go on this one. 150 health on him. Gets the Lulu ulti, but the Q oh. lands. And Pobelt, who does get a kill, shift, they're forced to flash away. Explosive shot there. Double if trying to run, cannot dodge at all. A bloodbath here in the top lane. Still ends up a three for two. No, a three for three. Core JJ knocks a couple down himself. And it's going to be. Oh. Now, he has the Q, doesn't even try. Nice shit on the keep himself oh, alive. No. One more hit, there it is. The flash W. Little Ants misses as well. Nice burst. Burn through everything. Nice. And a. Oh. Really odd teleport. They're going to have to close a lot of distance. After us, Flash. He's already burned Ghost. They want this one. Flash Pulverize comes in. Core today exhausted a defensive Bra multi, but they've got uh, so much ground to cover before they reach safety. Axe explodes off of the uh, Kiwi Kid shield, and that's going to be Core today going down. Kiwi Kid as well. Nice ulti in from Pobo to make sure it happens. Zion Spartan going to score Core Whoa, JJ. He has, he has no Flash. Good luck with this one. Whiffs a couple auto attacks, actually. Auto attack reset himself twice. Ulti on to run away. They interrupted Gamsu on the other side. They might be going for a kill. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. He is dead. Devil gets the kill. Seven to three in this one. Zion Spartan is now going to get dived, though. And that's no chance at all for him. Cordier does get the kill. His second of the game. Uh, mid laner and support all oh, heading up. Dangerous. They want to finish it so badly. All right. The Kog'Maw's around, but the Kog'Maw's not going to do anything in this fight whatsoever. Oh, TP comes in. Gamsu wants the flank. The double slow yeah. comes on to Afro. COG is outnumbered. Afro has the ulti, though. He can tank this forever. Pops it. He's going to run backwards. Forever is one thing. Actually, it's about six, six seconds. seconds. Gamsu lands the stun. The taunt double knockup comes through for Brom. Double's going to go down. Shift gets the kill. They knocked out Afro as well. Rush Hour going to have no sequel for a while now. And to Dignitas. Double is actually pushing mid. I wonder if they give this up. Team yeah. makes a different call. Now they go in. They can try for the steal here. Smithy has done it before. He looks nice for block. it. Gets the smite. A nicely done pick up there. He just didn't even smite at all himself. Smithy, though, close to him. One more ult will do it. Gonna land the tag. Oh. No, it's not enough damage. And here's the engage. Afro knocks up four. He's in the middle of that team. Pops the ulti. Bunch of damage comes through. Two picked up already. Shifter and Core JJ, the next in line. There's the third. Here comes the fourth. Bunny hops everywhere. And a double kill for both the top laner and AD carry of CLG. That did not go well. Almost a 9,000 gold lead for Counter-Logic Gaming at only 21 minutes. An absolutely massive lead for the guys in red. Helios. <laughs> uh -oh. There's the setup. There's the knockup. One more Q will do it. Nice pickup. Somehow Afro once again takes the kill away. I think Trample got it. Probably. His passive on Alistair. Still waiting on his last whisper. So a low, low damage Kog'Maw. Interesting how they actually put the Righteous Glory onto the Gragas, because Afro has been able to pick up a lock, and he missed his WQ combo. Oh, a taunt though. Smithy start. taking a fair bit of damage here. This might be an okay fight. Mid lane turret goes down. Smithy taking what he can. Afro pops the ulti, knocks him in. Goodbye, Helios. Double gets the kill. Small chase for Zion Spartan. Can't go too much farther though. Pops the ulti to get away. CLG in a 5v4. Still have some time to push. Their big damage dealers are alive. The back line is here. The double marks, but Kiwi Kid nearly goes down. He can't knock the turret down in time to make him blow up. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a 10,000 gold lead by 22 minutes, so that's why the fight could start so badly for CLG, but still have them come oh, out ahead. Oh, big play by Shifter, and Afro has no ulti, so this could be a good chase down, but Gamsu out of energy. Shifter's going to whimsy up soon, looks for the Q, does land nice a slow to Zaya Spartan. There Ooh. comes Smithy, though, a big play, a knockup from Lulu ulti. Still the damage comes through, they trade back in a double lift, and a big fight comes in. Core JJ just jumped on by Zaya Spartan. Easy to run for this one, going to wait on the concussive blows. After we reslowed, though, and Gamsu's still making work in the front line. Helios has come back as well. And out goes Xmithy. It's actually a decent fight on the backside, but yeah. their base still dying. Ward C in straight lines. So that one was not spotted by the pink. Oh! No crit. There's the crit. Double gets him down. The red buff slow definitely helped a whole lot. And actually, yeah, to, to explain the vision, actually, actually, um, I learned about this uh, a couple months ago. The center of your model is what looks out but it can see the edge of another model. So if you're like basically right up against a wall, you can't see around it, but they can see you. Think about like if I like was in front of a pillar, you'd see my shoulder, so you'd know I was there, but I can see looking at me. We're the same way in League of Legends. Ulti comes across, slows three. Oh dear. And Zion is here. Kiwi Kid blocks the X, but still tanks the damage. Down he goes, double lift. Has slain Kiwi Kid. I think they'll be able That's to end it. gonna be a secure. Yes, it is. Red team is slain. Baron Nasher, that's CLG. Afro engaged, but has no health left, so he's gonna go down for this one. No way, he doesn't oh, really? die! Double lift is eighth 
kill of the game. Shifter gonna give Zion Spartan his fifth. Building only attack damage out of from the jungle. Good lord. 370 attack damage. Still sitting on his Elixir of Wrath oh. because he's been resetting it. Oh. But he's squishy. Let's see if he turns careful. it around. Helios at half health. Oh man, double it from downtown. Says thank you very much. His ninth kill of the game. And CLG ready to push it into this one. Bottom inhibitor turret laid bare. The two already dead. There's all three. And here comes the game winning push. Yep. Sub 30 minutes. We have seen so many fast games in North America. CLG joining the club here in week nine. And they are going to keep pace with Team Liquid. The hopes of a first round buy in the playoffs are still alive for Counter Logic Gaming. There's the win over Team Dignitas. That's how they had to do it. To be fair, I feel like full 80 Olaf only works when you're. All right, so standard stuff here, but we want to know how you guys think this game's going to go online. Send hashtag GVWin or hashtag TIPWin, and we will tally up the vote once you're in game. Gravity looking for a hold on that first place spot. Impulse looking to make it eight. They got, they got to be a little bit suspicious with the way Adrian was right there, but you yeah. never know. Oh, his dash is down for Altec. They're going to flash oh. headbutt. Oh, goodbye. Bunny Boo Boo flashes away, but can he really make it out? Looks like the ulti from Rush is going to be enough. First Blood comes through to the Team Impulse jungler. Discrepancy in the mid lane gate getting slightly out laned here. Not a gank in that spot, but Rush gets the ulti into Shen. impact. Here comes the push towards Keen. Keen does have flash. Pops it. Impact's going to go for the taunt flash. Going to land that a big shockwave, but is going to play enough time. Oh, Keen! Oh, he flashes no way. out! You got to be kidding me! He makes it happen! 2-0 on Rush. Apollo spell shields, and in comes the rest of the fight. Now Adrian taking up with the ulti. Ignite is on him, but he's still walking away. Flames are not. Oh, they're so low. Adrian's ult's down. Move wants it, he gets it. Rush is dead. Adrian's gonna go down too. The re-engage, the Emperor's divide. Altex sequestered off. A what? double kill for a move. The fight continues. In comes the soldiers. It's so low and he is gonna die. Hauntzer gets one. Four kills to two. Impact the last man standing. Will it be the ace? Pounce coming in. A big oh. burst of damage. One more oh, chop. No! You're kidding me. <laughs> You are kidding me, and it goes overall 4-3 in the favor of Gravity. Well, Rush wants to mess with Hauntzer, just maybe. Dragon goes down, that's Gravity's first dive They of the also game. have Adrian coming in, too. Impact has turret aggro, goes to the top after the root comes through. Well dodged, and that's going to be a kill picked up. Assist for Adrian, thanks to the heal. Really effective item on her, and her AP ratios are not that great. So it's more about the extra bonuses from items and the passives that you can get. Oh. All right, let's see him at work here, though, with his spell penetration oh, and Fufu blasting can wand. save, probably. Well, do a little bit of damage. Nice top, but oh, nearly gets away with it all second. Now suddenly Bunny Poop has got nowhere to go. Oh, oh my god! No! He nearly put him into the javelin. Sheldon tries to save Rush. Rush is running and running and running, but not going to get away with this one. That's a kill traded back pretty cleanly. Impact, going to run for his life. Yeah, this game has really gotten crazy, though. There's a lot of objective trading being done after incredibly aggressive oh. moves. Adrian does have his ultimate, but he is rather low. He's Speaking exhausted. of incredibly aggressive move. Whoa! <laughs> Headbutts <laughs> into move. Move wants to flash the wall. He's afraid of this one, but Rush, Rush here. what are you doing? Hello. Hello. Rush says hello to move. Move wanted a ward, but you can't ward for Evelyn. And yes, Abyssal Scepter Rush is going to be the build. Hugely over-aggressive there by move. He a strong split push presence and keep Maokai bottled up because the ultimate for Shen will come off cooldown quicker than Maokai's teleport. Oh, with the interrupt oh, from Bunny is not enough. Olvarez comes through in time, nicely picked up. And oh, they're Gravity gonna knows. be able to burst this Baron down most likely. Gravity knows, but they might not be here in time. But if he puts the ward down, Shelly comes in to say hello to Altec. Impact will not quite be in range, but Hanser is here. He's going to tank up at the front line. Gate is safe so far. Shockwave. Oh, good flash by Apollo. Gets away from the shockwave. Adrian forced to run away. His ulti was down. Used it on the Baron. Moves to on the backside. Throwing in Javelin's oh. tags Apollo. Gate. Hanser is going to take a lot of damage, and Gate's still alive. The taunt comes out of in. Mana. Oh, big team fight here for Impulse. Two kills picked up, and the Baron. And it's super defensive as well. He picked up Merc Treads early as well once Rush started getting ahead. Yeah, very mana heavy. Rush here on the outside, gets a double Shh. ultimate. Brings move to half HP, who misses a jump over the wall. Goodbye. Oh. Kill goes to Apollo and Team Impulse looking to extend that winning streak to eight. The one, but Bunny's come back from worse, I believe. Yeah, I think that the next, oh, oh move gets caught. He's yeah. got no, jump this wall. Got a flash. Oh, Rush flashes the chase, takes a shenalty, but he's still very alone by himself. Cannot quite kill off Altec. Impact is the taunt. Goodbye, Bunny Fufu. 
Turns that one around pretty cleanly, and suddenly they've got Hawks in the middle of their team. Maybe he doesn't want to be here. Bit of damage on a rush. A nice Ooh. top flash. A big shot wave, though. And maybe it works out. Move picks up one. Still pushed around. Then a couple of kills still coming through. Keen trying to make it happen. Gets the shutdown. Traded back by Gate. Impact still in this fight. Cannot kill off Altec himself. But Gate can maybe help that one happen here. Hawks, of course, to recall. Flash if he Impact wants, wants it. to do it. Flash E auto attack. Solo kill for Impact. Takes down Altec. <laughs> Uh, but the cross map plays here from Impulse Continue. Ooh, ulti with two man slow. Silver ulti popped, and they're gonna catch out Haunter yet again. The tank Maokai, two man shockwave, and Haunter's still alive, running away. Headbutt comes in a two man toss. Oh, huge. There's a double kill. Massive Azir combo coming across, and now Haunter caught out a triple kill for Gate. His first game in the mid lane, looking for his fourth. Rush takes the kill off here. Bunny Fuba, the only man alive. Baron's back up as well. That's gonna go to Impulse. I know. See if that happens, or if Gravity even tries to fight this one. Knockups come through and they just run away. Move still taking some damage. There's the hard dive. Bunny Fufu goes down. Can't flash or ulti away. All take the next target gonna be oh drops goodness. on this one. Hanser only so tanky as Zero knocks him into the wall. Couple more kills picked up for everybody, and this is gonna be probably the game winning push. Or just expect everyone on Team Impulse to run straight at them and kill everyone. Look how hard it is to land an Oriana ult on this team, because Impulse are all just rushing for it in different avenues and he's only able to get Alistar there. Impulse with a great victory over Team Gravity, 33, 34 minutes in. Wow. Impressive stuff, and Gate undefeated on Team Impulse once as a support, once as a mid laner. And the Nidalee first pick does not pay off here for a move. So we're about to hit the rift, so send us your game predictions. Use hashtag NME win or hashtag TSM win. And we can see how you're calling this game as we tally up your votes throughout. You see the compositions on your screen right here. We've seen a lot of Italy jungle. Top is that looks like where Santorin is headed. Yep, just on a Janna. Gonna try and answer that turret damage. Easy peasy. And uh, Flair is actually teleporting into cutoff Dyrus here. They want to kill Very Dyrus. Very deep. Haven't seen Dyrus get focused like this at the top lane in quite some time. Looks like Enemy is going to repeat some history here and start that one off to take him down first. A very deep TP off a very deeply placed one. This is really a game comes down to how you spent your money in your inventory. That, like you said, Kobe, the Aegis on one side uh -oh. and not on the other. These teams are working with the same amount of cash flow just about. And TSM looks to be working it better with the timing of their composition. Bjergsen coming up nice with the living artilleries. They thought twice. they had something on the mind. There's a teleport in. Oh boy, they are really putting themselves in the fire here. It. Living Artillery go down. is such long range for them to get into this. It's going to be 4,000. Living Artillery is going to be the only thing. What a move from enemy. Can they get out of this one alive though? Avoidus is going to persistently oh. slow the entire team. That means Otter's on the back line. That's a great engage from Santorin. Wild Turtle picks up the kill on the last shot. And that's 40 seconds for TSM to get what they want. Enemy knows losing the Baron buff is a huge struggle Whoa, over not getting fifth, and they are not able to get it. Santorin able to pick that up for the team as Flair is also walking Team Solo mid off an objective. What a focus here by TSM. That would have been huge and cost a lot more time, but they come up with the kill in time. Timers, however, both a minute and 30 on Dragon and Baron. Yeah, you have to be really, really careful right now. Yep. Uh oh Flares goes all the way in. Lost Boy, that's not who he wants, so remember the amount of disengage the enemy has. They use a bit, and it even picks up kills. Double kill for Wild Turtle. Enemy was sitting under their turret. Why go out now? It allows enemy to push back up as well. They're going to come for the steal. Oh, Trashy Smite is down oh, right now. Dyrus. They're still going to go for the fight. Dyrus actually very low. Santorin trying to get the back line peeled off of his team. And they're low now. There's the rocket going in. Dyrus very close to getting excited again for Otter. Lustboy pushing in. Great living one. artillery coming in. You can see the poke and spread from Ludens hitting everybody and crushing health bars. Bjergsen, no blue buff, but he does have that uh, six, uh, Sorcerer Elixir say easy as they back off of the fight a little crazy they better they better get back and heal for this baron yeah they stopped fifth dragon is pretty much the big thing for team solo mid there this is going to be even bigger now who gets baron where's oh! the pressure come from oh the no look laser to the left but he doesn't even need it as he zeroes out bjergs in 55 seconds but not much traded onto the turret. TSM doing a great job. Oh, die. Depth charge goes off onto Dyrus. Wow, absolutely shredded down. They cut the tree out. And TSM probably thought they were coming in here to get an 11 and 6 and be tied for first place now that Gravity lost their game. But it is a much harder task than it seems today.
Enemy has brought their A All game. Alright, Force and here comes the teleport. 50 minute Baron attempt. TP from Flares is going to be right with the team. They don't really have control over any type of routing or getting around the fight. They're gonna watch TSM take this down. Chaos That's Storm gonna be Dyrus's. Anything. Chaos Storm in the middle, but it's not really doing a lot of damage. That's a hit up, however, on to Lust Boy. He's down. That's a lot of the disengage. Talisman of Ascension was already used, so you're seeing what TSM has now in the fight as First they take game. it. Bjergsen coming up with a big kill on to Inox. They are still back and forth, though. Great positioning and mechanics by both teams. Getting one member, but not being able to get the next as they disengage. It looks better for TSM here, but what can they set up? 55 minutes into the game. We're getting there, Kobe. What's Flares doing? He's going for Bjergsen. They want to cut him off. He's got no flash, just the ghost to work with. Oh, oh he's <laughs> over the wall. Can they get him? Oh, the binding misses, but there's enough DPS. Let's Pearson see. All right, down. he goes down. 75 seconds on everybody's timer right now. 18s across the board. The supports are the only 17s in the game, but they'll still be up there. But he's still going hard for it. Now it's enemy in the base on the full screen. We're going to see both sides. A great fight in the top by TSM. Turtle and Inox going 1v1, bro. And it's going to be a great fight. The inhibitor goes down along with the Nexus turret. Turtle coming up big in a solo match in the next, in the area oh, by Inox himself. Him, he goes down. But TSM has already won the fight in the base. Kobe, that was 75 uh -huh. seconds on each timer. And TSM's going to be gunning now for the Nexus. That should be game. They've got three to one advantage. Moving for 50 seconds with the super minions coming on all three lanes. TSM, all they have to do is heal and get every single man into enemy's base. Hard mode 999 is one that is impossible to beat, and TSM turns that on for the end of the game. 57 and a half minutes in, Team Solo mid finally break the base and take down enemy. On week nine, man, has the split gone way too fast, but there were some good games along the way, and we still got more to go. Let us know who you think is going to walk away with the win today. Tweet at LOL Esports with hashtag TDK win or hashtag C9 win. As usual, we'll get those tallied up and on the screen as we head into game. Feel free to change it. Yes, you can be a cheater. The kill pressure from TDK could definitely be there. A little tricky move in the early game. Elimination oh. gets found. Seraph on that early Kha'Zix actually gets the exhaust out. Ninja, could he flash over the wall? Just has to use the shadow. The dissonance is going to keep him still in range. Balls is there, however. That wasn't even a TP. They're still in the jungle walking Balls down with low. High. High could be going down here. I mean, Balls, rather. But it looks like they should be OK. Good damage Seraph on Seraph. He's going gonna to have to fight it out. He was fighting his life to the ground on that one. And he just stayed in so the team could get more damage. And hopefully so it could pay off for the team. But it does not because they didn't have the focus on the champions they needed. So fast, you'll never know. Let's see. Boom. Oh, he's not even, us <laughs> he's not even using it. Oh, he got yeah. extra cash out of it. At Look least. good for a second. Well, as he poaches the bottom jungle, they poach his top turret at Smoothie. Oh, Salami! Okay, he's all right. Able to get out of that one. The team knew he was taking the damage, and the turret was still That's on That's how him. you render poachers useless. You oh. leave your your jungle camps countered, and they never come back up, so he can't get bonus gold. Balls gets dove on the opposite oh. side, though, and TDK continue to rack up the kills in these tower dives. They're doing a lot better on his Oriana. Right, you're out of mana. What are you trying to do? Oh! Oh, hot damn. Nice job. <laughs> Very well played. So it's kind of just scratching them back into the game. Oh, Kez finds high in his own jungle. Smoothie flashes over for this one. Oh, the TP coming in. They actually pull out the absolute zero quite nicely onto Emperor. High is still the focus here. Smoothie wants high. They should kind of focus somebody else in the fight there, help their teammates out. Did High goes down. That was nice of them to finally turn around with the rest of the team. The well, communication finally came through. Seraph over the wall. Now he's with balls. Here, whoa, where comes Ninja as well? The Ignite goes down. Incarnation was in base, and Cloud9 was taking that fight over and over. Still going to try and harass down High. Uh-oh, Incarnation's going <laughs> to fall into a trap of him. See, that's oh, what... Yeah, he doesn't even get to set that one up. He's just toast. Uh, recall there from Emperor, and Smoothie backs off as well. So the mid turret's still standing. Ninja just used his shadow. Oh. He missed the follow-up damage. The heal. He's trying to play the turret yeah. game. Got him. Yeah. It's so difficult. Tristana, had, because she has two ways... You can do it on Trist, too. Sneaky showing us how. Smoothie setting oh, yeah. up another one. Nicely done. 
Not going to be able to get out of this. That's just an advance. He'll be, oh, wow, wait a minute. This is going to be a big play coming in. No, Incarnation can't get around the corner. He has to walk through Kez, and he actually still is trying to through left bounce. Lemonation finally gets there. The shield, a Sam bit of is, speed up. Sam's still on a turn. He's not collapsing. Yeah, so he's not doing much with it. With, with at least sticking to it. They have the double split pushers, the double side lane assassin threats. They also have been keeping up their vision coverage. Kez is uh, continually going for Blaze in the jungle here. There's that. Uh, there's Seraph that, jumps on him. <laughs> that damn it. Could get himself into that just now. Ninja by himself. Oh. Should be still quite effective Ghost in the 1-3-1 one, one by himself. The slows continuously come down. Talisman of Ascension. They're using quite a bit just to grab him. That could also be the escape. He gets pushed away. Slowed down and goes back into the fight, actually. He wants to kill, but again, explosive shot. Oh, he's going in. That let's bounce goes in as well. He gets locked up on the twisted advance right huh. quick. And we'll see if they focus the passive here. TDK actually can't do much to help Kez get back out of that one. You Gotta know, tell you. Squish kind of like past the point where Kha'Zix was taken out where he just zeroes people out. Oh, You're not gonna be killing a whole Kez. bunch of people on Cloud9 side. Uh oh. Oh, but the lantern it? advance! <laughs> you thought there was light at the end of the tunnel, but that's a dark passage, my brother. But they re-engage on Baron. They're going to try and burn it down. They're actually taking a good bit of damage across the team. Everybody's taking about a 10% hit there. Whoa, Seraph! Dude, there's no resets. Like I said, in these fights, that ultimate's not going to help him stay alive throughout it. There's that wall that TDK is going to hit. <laughs> and I think it's only sneaky. And Lemon Nation without armor right now. A lot of frozen hearts. That lot, or er, Zanya's as well, keeping everybody tanky oh, on the side of the C9. Line. Good hit by Smoothie, no damage to Lemonation. High tries to get off a nice absolute zero. The flash with Ninja with Seraph. that ultimate. Ball's going down very low. Seraph on the outside now with High. Emperor and him are definitely going to be able to 2v1 that situation. A few more shots. That's a double kill now for Emperor. And they're going to start moving in. Incarnation and Lemon. Oh, they split different ways. Both have a shield for each other. But it looks like they're going to have to have a personal use on that one. A triple kill. Possibly the Quadra here if it's finished off by Emperor. But they should be focusing on moving forward. They should be focusing the on advantage. Baron. They should go yeah, get Baron something right else. now. They do have the AD carry and another member on the Baron. They're going to take down high, then finish it up. Too low to even <laughs> start it right boo. now. <laughs> high and the rest of the team are going to have to be a little bit low on HP if they really want to oh get my. in. Three-man Shockwave Emperor on the outside now, trying to get himself in a good spot to deliver the DPS, and he's got good shots on high. Seraph gets one, gets himself out, but very low TDK. Fight as well as there's an engage. Great job by TDK to avoid everything there. And Kaz, however, in a bad situation, gets locked down. He's going to go down, but it's going to take them time. And this may be what Cloud9 needed to get to breathing room. Will they go for Baron after this? It is Whatever a risky one. With so many shields, Cloud9 can tank up the Baron pretty much indefinitely. Here comes the speed boost. Again, the Karma Shield coming in. Now on to Smoothie, the fight that Cloud9 wanted just to get their foot in the door. And they're able to swing it towards TDK now. Oh. Cloud9. A few more hits. Oh, the flash from Ninja for the ultimate. Something that Incarnation will Kez surely take. Kez is coming. He's got home guards. He's working his way over. Cloud9. They're pretty low now. Oh, my goodness. Emperor. Emperor going in. That's going to be a kill on the Sneaky. Baron's not going to have the focus anymore. High, very low. Ninja coming in with the damage. Deathmark did not kill him, but balls will go down. A double kill now. That's the third member going down. And it looks like Incarnation may not make it out alive, but the slingshot is ready. Coming oh. in from Kaz. He may rear back, but it looks like they're going to give up on this one. <laughs> going for the long shot. Smites him down. And that's going to be an inhibitor for TDK. At least one. Emperor's going to work on the mid lane here. You got to be kidding me, Kobe. They're going to do it. Cloud9 had the opening right there, and then it seemed like they danced it too much. Great disengage, however, from TDK. Mistakes and perfect moves from both sides at every point in this game. But it looks like TDK has what they need. Lemon Nation is up. There's not a lot of clear he can get to these minions or provide for the turrets. They're onto it now. Four for high, three for balls. Incarnation oh. in 19. It's going to be sneaky up. The next TDK is. looking for win number two. They can stop. Cloud9 for getting to seven, and they do! Wow, TDK takes down Cloud9! And another day for Seraph to smile!